Hello and welcome back. Newly announced ICE 3.1 supports hot V motion in V Center. This is one of those functionalities that have been asked for for a long time. What this does is it allows you to move the ICE virtual machine from host to host while ICE is still running. For this video, I'll be using VMware's vCenter 6.7 Update 3J. Um, that shows up at 6.7.0.51, and I'm also using the vSphere host build 19195723. On the ICE side, I'm using version 3.1, patch 1 with the log4j fix. Let's jump right in. You can see that I'll be using the ICE 3.1 OVF tool VM. Here's where you can see the host name and the IP address. And this is where you can verify the vSphere host onto which ICE has its resources allocated. To start the hot vMotion process, we're going to right click on our virtual machine and select migrate. Here we're going to change both the compute and the storage resources. Then we have to open up our data center and our cluster and choose the host onto which we want to migrate our virtual machine. Then we can verify our data store. If you're using a shared storage, this shouldn't change. If you're using host specific storage, then verify the data store to which you are migrating. Click next and then you can verify or change the networks that you're connected to. Note that the source and destination V switches have to have the same security settings or the validation will not pass. I want this migration to happen as quickly as possible, so I'm going to choose high priority and then click finish. The time this process takes will vary based upon network load, host load, host CPU and RAM, CPU and RAM allocated to the VM, hard drive size and utilization, and so on and so forth. Since I'm using an evaluation version, this took just under two hours to migrate from one host to the other. Here you can see the host with the ICE resource allocations has changed to the destination host that we have selected earlier. Thank you for watching. I know this is a quick video, but if you like what you see, then click the like and subscribe buttons. You can be notified whenever I have a new video by clicking the bell, and I'll see you on our next one.